Warning. If you are under the age of 13, you are not permitted to watch this channel, set by the new standards of the FTC. Although some of the content on this channel could feature cartoons or animation, it is for adults only. Thank you, and have a wonderful f***ing day. What if I told you there was a machine that would allow you to catch and manufacture ghosts? Let's take a look at one such machine. A machine called the Ether Wind. Developed in 1981, this unethical device of the macabre started making headlines due to its questionable abilities. The schematic is even stranger. It consists of a glider containing a watermill as a conductor of energy, which essentially connects to a battery, which leads to a bird in a glass bottle hovering over more water. This machine operates much like the concept of alchemy, black magic and science. How would you feel about this, if it were true? Fast, Fast forward, forward to, 2019. to 2019. Imagine you have a close friend you frequently communicate with via text. One day, they suddenly die. You fall to pieces. You attend their funeral. Then, you decide to pick up your phone and send them a message, just like old times. I miss you. You type. A little response bubble appears at the bottom of the screen. I miss you too, comes the reply. You keep texting back and forth. It's just like they never left, chatting with ghosts. Welcome to the world of augmented eternity. AI program builds upon the digital archive a person has left behind. Emails, texts, tweets, and even Snapchats. It feeds into these artificial neural networks. It understands language patterns and process, and can process new information. The neural network's ability to think for itself. The person's digital being continues to evolve after the physical being is passed on. It basically acts as a bot that becomes an entity based on the real person rather than a facsimile of who they were at the time of their death. However, it will take one trillion gigabytes of data which is what is needed to create a digital version of yourself. But I have to ask you the ethical question. Is it right? These are phantoms. These aren't your friends and your family members. Sure, these are their memories. Maybe these are some of their experiences recorded. But is it really them? I view it as a tape recorder. I view it as a VHS. I view it as a photograph. It looks like them. It's their likeness. But it's not really them. If this helps people move on, if this helps people feel better about the situation, then I have to say it's a positive thing. If it helps anyone with grieving, obviously it's positive. The footage you saw in the beginning, it was created by Alice Aycock, who was an artist. She did live kinetic sculptures. So that machine itself is real, and it is in fact called How to Catch and Manufacture Ghosts. But functional-wise, no. It's just an art piece. Check out her work. It's pretty amazing stuff. I'd like to say a special thanks to Sir Spooks for doing the opening narration on this channel. If you have not heard of Sir Spooks and you've been living under a rock, my friends, please check out his channel. He has got some creepy, creepy content. And he's an all-around great guy. I have a Patreon. If you feel like joining, that would be great. Every little bit helps me getting this channel up and going. And please, 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 like and subscribe. Thank you very much. And I'll see you all in the next video.